Griswold area again. Um, and double click again on the actual map to bring, make it big. And you guys end up walking out into the forest. As you walk out, um, you see you're traveling for a little ways. You see the road blade off right and left. You see a farmstead pretty close off to your left. It is a typical farmstead. Let me see if I have a handout for it. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Reichland Farmstead. Here we go. Um, let me see if they did something different in the game. Might have. No, they didn't. Typical farmstead. So that is your typical Reichland Farmstead. Everybody see it? Yep. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, you guys continue walking for about another hour and a half, and you see smoldering off to your right, uh, to your left, as you the Black Peaks are very, very close. I assume we're at the halfway crossroad mark. Right no, there. you're at the third one down. Okay. Third so one down. One, two, three. Doesn't take too long for us to get there at all. Okay. Yeah. So you see the smoldering remains of the farmstead just north of the Black Peaks, and uh, you are much less than a mile away from the Black Peaks themselves. We search well, for like uh, foot, uh, footprints to see who might have made them. So you want to go to the smoldering remains? Yes. Yeah. I want to investigate what's going on. Uh, Durak's going to love this. Change your name, by the way. Um, and let's see. what uh, What is the name of your character? Let me go look. We should change it. If, yeah, you've got it. Um, but you're... Uh, there you go. Thank you. Your avatar. Um, okay, so uh, you go walking towards the smoldering remains. As you get close, there's a number of arrows in the area. Go ahead and make a track, Lady the Fane. <laughs> uh, Reroll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the tracks could have been very obscured by everything going on. Um, but you notice wolf tracks. Mm. As a matter of fact, warg tracks. These are goblins. And the arrows look to be goblins. Yeah, goblins. Wolves don't burn down houses. These are goblin raiders. Where'd they come from, then? We're just hiding in the mountains. Actually, mountain not war wolf. They generally ride uh, giant wolves. Mm -hmm. You already know or that. Giant you... spiders. Yeah, either spiders or wolves, but these are wolf riders, looks like. Even though I may actually switch it when create giant spiders, that would be pretty fucking cool. Well, I hear goblins are small and tricksy, like everything's small. So I suppose we should be right if they have to ambush us. Hey. Where do you want to go from here? Well, let me zoom in on that. Uh, and well, there the, are the other villages around. I wonder if any of the other farmstead, villages may have heard of Farmstead. Anything. Farmsteads. 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 Yeah. Um, okay, so you want to approach another farmstead, the one no, to I... the left, to the east, west, from where you're at. Remember, you're at the one that's just above the words Black Peaks. Right. Smoldering ruin. Uh, so where do you want to go and talk? Uh, yeah, the one to the west might be yeah. west. I think if anyone uh, fled from here, they might be there. Yeah. Okay. As you approach the farmstead, about three arrows plunk in the ground about ten yards before you. Boom, boom, boom. They came from the farmstead. And you hear, hold your ground! What do you want? Uh, Garrett will hold up his hands, showing he has nothing in them, and uh, just call back. Uh, we heard about some raids in the area. We're looking to see if anyone's still alive from that smoldering wreck back up the way. Don't know! I hope so! They're good people! The Flastershizers! <laughs> That's a mouthful, sir. Would you mind if we came and talked? 
We're not here for any trouble. Not with you. How do I know you're not them? Because they're goblins. How do you know that? I All thought they was dwarves. Some damn filthy dwarves. I can guarantee you, with the expertise on my team, uh, I can roll this charm roll and convince you that I am being... Go ahead, make honest. a charm. Make a charm. <laughs> Plus 20. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you... Like a fortune refresh or anything, by the way. Uh, No fortune refresh, no. You can do a dark pack. Uh, is, is that worth it? <laughs> it's another corruption point. Yeah, it is. How many corruption points can I have, anyway? Toughness oh, no. bonus plus willpower bonus. Uh, that'd be like seven. Would that let me re-roll or succeed? It'll let you re-roll. Okay, I mean, with 70%, it's it's kind of worth it. At the same time, this guy doesn't have any information, I don't think, so... Did you put the plus 20 in? No, you forgot no, the plus 20. But you still fumbled. Like, yeah, that's... Still fumbled, that's, still 100. Yeah, he does not believe you worth the shit. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not going to take a corruption for it. I don't think... Okay. Do. Stay there! Stand your ground or we'll open fire! All right, fair enough, fair enough. I take it then you haven't seen anything else this way? No! Well, we've we seen, uh... We think we've seen some wolves. That's about it. I'd be wary of them. Could be a sign of them. We'll hold. Now leave. All right. So, yep, time to back off and leave. Hopefully that's not coming across too loud, is it? Uh, it's fine. I, I kind of got to raise my voice a little bit to do that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, you go back. Where do you want to go? Uh, well, there's goblins in the areas. There's a ton of forest. These guys might be getting scouted out. Uh, so honestly, any action we could do that could engage them would probably help them. Is there any other farmsteads that we need to check? Uh, there's this furthest south one underneath the words mine. I think we could circle around to there next. Go sure. through the forest? Uh, going okay. through the forest is an option, so, but I was suggesting circling around. Oh, south of the mines, or west of the mines. Yeah, southwest. Yeah, okay. So, you guys head south. Is that a plan? Everyone agree? Door? Everyone? I haven't heard a lot of words from people. Art? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, just doing party right. band stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Just want to make sure everyone's engaged, not mm -hmm. sitting there looking at Google. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, you guys head south. Um, to your left, as you approach, on a small hill, you see a hexagon tower. It's two stories. It's sitting up. It's visible from the distance you're at. You don't see anyone on the outside. You know goblins are night creatures. Right. And if anything, um, we've been out here for a few hours. It's still not even dark yet, is it? No. It's about 1 o'clock in the... Uh, we'll make it or even... Oh, 12.30. That's uh, actually 1, because you guys walked... To the two different farmsteads, so we're going to make about one thirty. We we could go straight to the uh, tower here instead of um, in this type. Farmsteads. Yeah, in this type uh, at, at this time of year, uh, in summertime, in where you're at ge uh, ge uh, geographically, uh, it sunrise starts around five a.m. and is dark around nine, oh. eight thirty to nine. We've got. Tons of time, then. You got tons of time, so you've got lots and lots of sunlight. Yeah, let's let's check out the last farmstead to see if there's anybody who needs help. Okay, so let's check out the farmstead first. Maybe okay. there's still someone there. As you go south of the tower, south, in the distance you see that that southernmost uh, farmstead underneath the word house mine is burnt. <laughs> rubbled it, and not even smoldering it's gone oh you just see charred wood um a, a remnants of what was a townhouse wall uh the 
what whatever it was, it's been destroyed. So not a lot here at all. You know, if I had to guess, I would think that they're uh, come nightfall, they're going to attack that last one that's still standing. I'm feeling that too. But we can always come back to that. Uh, um, yeah, let's check the tower. Yeah, instead of going for all, all we know, for all we know, they're in the woods. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's check out the tower. As you approach the tower, you don't see anyone on lookout. There are windows. Uh, there's not even windows out of this. I don't think. Let me look. Um, no, not from here. Not, uh, there are no windows from the, um, uh, on any side. Um, and the tower stands out to the right. You can see the mine about 500 yards away. What do you do? Now, Dor, this person is a wizard, and we're getting close to this tower. I suppose if there's any weird magical nonsense going on, you would feel it, right? Dor, make a perception. Plus 20. And I guess it goes without saying that, given that she's probably associated with chaos, I'm really hoping that if there's anything weird going on, you'll be able to tell us before it hits us. Not feeling any magic. But the winds are swirling a bit around here. A lot of chaos is in motion. I'll just be uh, mysterious. Be like, no, I don't feel any magic, but I do feel the winds coursing through this tower. Good coursing? Bad coursing? There is no good or bad. It just is. The mysterious mark perfectly. Well, as long as it is and it's still here, let's uh, start to approach. Yes. Uh, approach what? The mine or the tower? Uh, the tower. All right. You approach the tower. Hold on a sec. Gertrude. Door. Garrett. Gertrude. Do you have night vision? Gertrude, um, no. Arlick, Arlick. 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 Computer. Let me uh, take a look. You have night vision. Taking a look right now. I think you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Actually, I don't think uh, hobbits do. She does. Right? she does. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so you have sight. There we go, Garrett. Yeah, I'll be right back. I was just mixing up a drink of uh, Kool Aid. Cool. Don't take the Kool Aid. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm fine. Okay, and Durak. Um, all right. And hopefully, my dynamic. I'm going to double check the dynamic lighting here. Where are we? Oh, whoops. That would help. One, two, six. Everybody up to where they belong. There we go. That goes bye bye. Let's double check the dynamic lighting because I've had issues with that. And here we go, guys. The tower. Tell me you can't see everything. I can't see everything. See anything? Can't see. I can't there see we go. anything. In fact. By okay. the way, I have night vision. Um, just a second. Let me give a uh, uh, torch. I just need to set light because it's outside and there's no light source. So we're just going to do this. And give a thousand yards. A thousand. Uh, 360. 1,000. Let me know if this fixes it. Yes? Yep, mine just came up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put that on the map layer. Uh, so this I is... think there's a vision blocking layer that's missing. A what? I think there's a vision blocking layer that's missing. What I does that mean? I can see this area down here. Um. That means that there's you... a vision blocking layer that I think is missing. 
No, actually, that's black around uh, everywhere around you. Right there, it's black. No, I'm saying I can, I can. Yeah, we see, see this. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, 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 that's okay. That's the second. Yeah, that's okay. the second story of the tower. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. So you, what you're looking at is level one, level two. So down below is level two of level one. Don't worry about it. All good. Um, just what you're looking at below is what's above uh, where you're at. Okay, it's the second story. So that outer layer is the same outer layer that you're down below. All right, so <laughs> you see two double doors right here. What do you do? Uh, are and, they unlocked? Ah, <laughs> uh, ha, ha. Nice try. It strokes his chin and goes, you know what? I never realized how many locks I would need to pick in my life. Okay, and I think with goblins, we've got to go with rock. Uh, I think, does Ivo have lock picking? I think he was just a leg breaker, wasn't he? Unfortunately, it was Harbaugh who had the lock picking. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I told you. That's okay. We can just do property damage. It really is a useful little shit, isn't he? Okay. That's <laughs> so good natured. Okay. Um, what do you do? Nobody can pick the lock? I will the lock to open. Do you have an open spell? No. Door? Door? No. In your grimoire, you didn't take the open spell? Oh, no. That's ironic. Gaston had it. Yeah. <laughs> oh! That is. It's locked. Is it magical? Uh, is it made of stone? Is it made of wood? Make a perception door. It's made of wood. Oh. Up it down, maybe? <laughs> nope. Uh, no magic locks. What do you do? Is there a key under the welcome mat? Nope. There's no welcome mat. <laughs> there's a little mat that, with the finger pointed up at you. <laughs> nice little goblin addition. Are there any windows on the second story? None. No windows either side. Anywhere in this tower. Anybody have an axe? You say that like we don't have. Uh, no, oh, by the way, Dor, did you want to buy two hand axes before you left? Forgot about that. You're going to want to get your hand axe back. I think you mean Durak. I mean, you, Durak, Durak, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, why would Dor buy them? Hey, Dor, can sorry I get your that. hand axe? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Training. Too many Ds. Um, go ahead. Uh, yeah, do you want to. Pay the cost for two hand axes. They're common, I believe. Yeah. They're, yeah. It's just standard weapons. So it's two gold crowns for that. Uh, back to being broke. But Direct was always broke. What do you do? There is a door, right? Yes. No, I'm going to the wizard. The door. Well, then I'm going to. What, it's not made of stone. You did say it was made of stone, or you didn't say it was made of stone? Uh, the tower is stone. The doors are wood. Oh, it's time to break in these new axes. Yes? Yeah, Go ahead. Charging Make two weapon attacking. skills, plus 60. <laughs> Can I declare the door as an enemy in frenzy at the door? <laughs> Uh, you haven't seen an enemy yet, no. Uh, not a hostile You have to see door. an enemy to frenzy. Yeah, Got you it. can't frenzy on a door, dude. Yeah. That's how I know you <laughs> think it's ridiculous is when you start calling me dude in the middle. Dude, dude. You can't, you can't frenzy at a door, dude. Dude. I don't call, I don't say dude very often, but. That's yes. why I know you're being serious about it being stupid. Plus 60. Okay, so that was a plus three. Uh, make a, no attacks. Um, actual weapon. Well, attack. I don't have the I don't have the axes in yet since I've literally just 
Yeah, remember they do damage four, copy over your weapon skill. Well, here, I'll just roll damage the uh, dagger that I have at the moment, and I'll... Yeah, damage four, no qualities, you're good. Um, the right arm of the door. Plus 60, plus 60. So that would be 103, that's a plus 13. Well, I'm going to assume that's an axe as you get those into your character sheet. Um, bang! A massive hit on the door. Roll again. You got dual wield, right? Uh, yeah. Well, so yeah, we I don't. I don't. The, yeah, so I don't roll again. We reverse the number. Another big bang. The doors bast open, um, and blast open. And here we go. Boom. And you see a scared goblin that was sitting on its ass up against the wall sleeping, but it woke up to that. Everyone, I'm going to roll initiative. Uh, I guess Come. don't forget our uh, two dwarf friends. Oh, shit. Thank you. I appreciate that. I almost forgot about them. Uh, let's see. These dwarves are drunk, though, just to let you know. Um, Are we rolling rolling a few hour walk, right? Um, let's see. Boom. Yeah, you've had a few hours, but they brought wine with them. Um, okay, we'll see how effective they're going to be. And this guy, and it's now time to start combat tracker. And there we go. Lady Tiffane. What do you do? The doors have been busted open by Durak. I'm going to shoot that goblin scum. Arrow. Tell me how you really feel. Sit back, for lunch. <laughs> uh, okay, fire. Short, short distance. It is Damn. short. And I, what, are you firing with a long bow or just regular bow? Regular What's bow. the range of the regular bow? What's the range of the regular bow? A 50. Okay, so five yards is your point blank range. And um, let's see, they have crap armor. Oh no, they got some armor. What do they have? In scum. What the heck? Oh, they got shields. But he doesn't get a shield bonus for this. That's why they're so high. So you do 14. Nice hit. Um, oh, did you have advantage actually on that or not? There's no advantage. Okay, and you rolled, I see. A... Yeah, okay. Uh, and no advantage. Um, you were plus 20. He has no shield bonus. Uh, you do 14 less 3 is 11. What do these knuckleheads have? Woo! Uh, a big hit. Almost killed the goblin outright. As you hit him in the right arm tore his arm off, uh, but he's still up. You gain an advantage for that. Put your advantage at one. Go for it. Door, what do you do? There's only one, right? Only one. Yeah, I'm gonna but him but everybody heard that. Oh, everybody did? Uh... Well, it's, it was loud. Let's just put it this way. It was loud busting through that door. Okay, I what will do you do? channel then. Channel? Fire away. You have a spell to channel for now? Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, I think you made it. All right. Um, Durak. Yeah, I'm going to charge on forwards. Okay, do you want a frenzy or not? No, not with just one guy in my face. Okay, fire away. No charge bonus. Too close. Um, Go ahead, attack. Are you dual wielding? I right. announce that ahead of time. Dual wielding, of course. Oh, okay. Does dual wield have the ability to bump that up, or is it a one timer? What do you mean? Can you buy dual wield more than once? I think you can. Remember, I had this question before, because I couldn't figure yes, out can. why dual wield. So would remember, be. you get a plus one success level every time you use dual wield. Uh, okay, so you do wield, so that's a 613, that's an automatic death. The second shot, 
you just hack into meat. You can still move. Thing is, I can't yeah. see. You can't see. Let's get your token set up. Uh, do you have night vision? Yes. I think you do, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, there you go. That's taken care of. Okay. Who is next? That's as far as you want to go? Uh, no, sorry. I was just double checking how far I could go. I have three more spaces of movement. That's as far as I can go. All right, there you go. Evo um, is going to hold for everybody else um, because I have foreknowledge. Garrett, what do you do? All right, so I'm looking at everyone going. All right, we need to start sweeping in, and I will go ahead and take a few steps inward. I think I saw Durok rush in past one of these corners. That's five or... out of potentially 16. So yeah. 11 left. What do you do? Six, seven. I'll move up to like about here. Okay. Uh, and I will actually roll intuition to start gaining some advantage. So I do not get caught off by any traps. Smart. Uh, no, it actually has to be in combat. You're oh, looking you at... Combat rounds. No, you're looking at... You have to observe other people doing combat so you're gaining insight onto how they fight. Okay, uh, so I suppose yeah. I'm mostly just defending here. Okay, um, so your defensive stance? This seems weird. Like, there's, like, this whole angle-ish right here. Like, I'm yeah. only seeing half my token. Yeah. Uh, what? What do you mean you're only seeing half your like token? Like, it's cutting off half my token right here. Is there supposed to be more right here? Um, it's really just this narrow. It's that narrow. Yep. Hmm. And you have sight, but it's dark. Um, so you're looking at the light from outside. You're going to want to light a torch or get a lantern out. Do you have either? Uh, no, I don't. So I'll just call back and go, someone bring up a light. Anyone have a lantern or a torch? Um, let's see. I think I have I mean, a torch. I've got a light. From when we went in the sewers. Door has a light. He's going to have to cast it on something. Do not, sadly. No. Oh my god. You guys go out and you still don't have the basics wait, wait, wait. for torches and what light? What is this? In the dark. <laughs> what is this thing right here? That is actually representing sunlight. It has a range of a thousand yards. Oh, okay. You cannot move it. That was like a glowing rock or something. I know, I know. I, I had to throw something out as, so that you guys could see. Um, it's, so that's the sun coming in. Which means the further away you get from here, uh, you're not going to be able to see. Okay, I anyone know. have light? Anyone? Anyone? Feel it? Okay. <laughs> Hey, All right. Well, I guess I'll cast it. Uh, you're going to cast next turn. You channeled this turn. Um, <coughs> Gertrude, what do you do? I guess I have Gertrude move forward. Now, let me make sure, because dynamic lighting is always funky. This is a door. This is a door. That is a door. And that's what you can see so far. I'm a door. I'm a dirt. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Door. Um, door. Door. Cute. Right here. Okay. So uh, yeah, those aren't very evident. I I figured. So there's a door here. There's a door here. There's a door here. Dynamic lighting on this map was a bit of a challenge, so that's why I'm pointing them out. You have to right. really look close to see him. Well, to move here is uh, five out of my six yards of movement. No, you have up to four times three twelve. Yes, I'm just uh, going. Okay, that was five, so 
seven. Don't want to get too far ahead, of you guys. <coughs> okay, so you're there. You're done. Yes. Evo is going to hold again. Running makes you easier to hit, though, doesn't it? Evo goes again. He's going to wait. And Gertrude, ooh, did I get myself into a loop? I did. Okay. Uh, these guys come running up. Or not running up, but cautiously moving up. All right. Um, I think my dwarves are missing initiative skills. Shit. They are. Oh, well, it still doesn't matter. They're going to go last. Let me uh, put this at 23. And where's my other dwarf? 31. All right. Okay. Uh, there we go. Oh, damn it. Axe. And what's their core stats? Ooh, they have good weapon skills, except they're drunk. So, and shield. Um, and defensive. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay, so who are we up to? Tefane, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to move closer and try to spot if there's any more greenskins to shoot. Move. Move yourself. Moving. Let me make sure your token's set correctly with night vision. It is. Okay, I can't really see around the corner, but I can still fire over the dwarves. Yes, you can. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Door. I am casting light. Who wants now, it? What's the range of light? Is it touch or is it within it's willpower? Touch. I'll have to move up. Okay. So who wants it though? I, mean, uh, I would, but I am the furthest from you. I say. Oh yeah, you're all the way back there. I say if you want to go the old method, put it on my axes and I'll lead the way. Actually, if you could move nine, you could technically move up to where Muffin Top is. Yeah, and touch her. Or touch Garrett. A series of sentences that are amazing, by the way. Or Evo. <laughs> Evo's going to creep into here, finally, at the end of the round. You can cast on Evo, too. Yeah, make Evo the light bearer. Uh, let me double check something here. Restrict movement. Yeah, it should have restricted movement. All right. Okay. okay. I'll use it on Evo. <clears throat> so you're going to touch uh, his shield? Yeah. Cast. You didn't have channel for that, but you're successful. So it's <laughs> eight now. And the range is what? Torchlight? Right? I'm looking to see if it even says. It should. I can. You should copy it. all those spells directly into description. Yeah, I did. I was just there looking we go. at it. Um, that of a lantern. A okay, or a torch. Okay, there we go. So Evo is now glowing on his shield. Okay, no advantage for that. Durak, what do you do? I'm moving forward. Uh, this is a stairwell, I guess I'm saying? Yep, going up the center. <coughs> Actually, sorry, it goes around this way and up. So it goes um, this way and then up. Well, either way, I still counted uh, the same exact number of circles. So. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, so, so I guess I'm on the how second How far do you want to creep up? Do you well, want to creep up that far? I'm currently okay. on the second level to move forward. All right, so we're going to move you up to here. So also, you that was there. an unfortunate drag, because when you dragged me through, I saw stuff. But I'm not going to say That's anything. That's all right. Not a worry. There's nothing to see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep moving, though. I still got movement. That was just my normal moving distance. I'm going to run. 
You're gonna run? Two, okay, so you're up here. Three. Wait, where are you going? I'm moving. You pull, you're pulling me back. I know, but you gotta need to be in here. This is the corridor that goes around that centerpiece. Did I not put dynamic lighting? I didn't. Ah. Uh, well, I can still see the staircase, which I assume that I'm still on. You're dragging me out of the staircase. Yeah. Which is extra movement. Because the you're in the staircase. Now you should be able to see it. There you go. All right. So what do you do? So there's an exit right there in that little 45 that you can see. Well, you've confused me now. I was in the staircase moving. And, and now you're you... now up. And you're up here. Well, you pulled yeah. me out of the staircase, which is why I'm saying I'm confused. Okay, because I didn't put actual uh, a dynamic lighting around the staircase itself. I didn't realize I didn't do that. So you come up the stairs, and you come out to another circular corridor coming around. Okay, the stairs only go up to the second floor. There's no more Exactly. Staircase. Okay. And there's doors here, here, here that you can see. Well, then I guess I'm just going to stop here because I'm assuming a run is a full action. Yeah. Yeah, there you so go. that ends. I'm done. Okay, so now I got, I got now I see what, where you were confused because I didn't put dynamic lighting in. Evo is going to wait again. Garrett. All right. Uh, I'm basically holding here and trying to hold up the corridor. I could go ahead and leave that to Muffin Top and sort of back up to the center. And check out this door. Okay. Um, the door is open. So, you go here. Make a perception. All right. There, rolling perception. Plus Penalty. 20. Uh, oh, no. Wow, my second 100 fumble. Jesus today. Christ. Wow. Okay. Right you want to reroll? forsaken me. No, okay, so you don't hear anything. So it's like a bedroom. And it looks like it's amazingly well kept. They're goblins. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take like a step in, hold up my shield, and just kind of defend right here, just in case. Make another perception for moving yeah. in. And go I'm ahead. I'm going to just call to Ivo to move in after me. After moving in. Nope. It's better, but it's still a minus two. Okay. Hey, why is this still rolling? Down? You're done. Okay, Gertrude. I don't know how you're in there twice, but you're in there twice. Gertrude, what do you do? Waiting there in case something comes until Garrett is done with what he's doing. So you're staying right there? For now, yes. Okay. Um, all right. Dwarf is going to hang right there. Dwarf is going to hang right there. Evo creeps forward a little bit this way. No, all Evo, of you, I said this way. All of you make perceptions. I'm going to have Evo roll. I'm not going to waste my time with the dwarves. I asked Evo to come to me, and instead he walks away. Why? Why does he hate me? You hear sounds coming from this direction. Ooh. Uh, let me see. Anyone? Oh, Durak. Durak. You hear sounds coming from this direction. Very good roll. I'm assuming I put that line where you said the door was. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you still can't see the door. They have these little jutting things that come out. I think the dynamic lighting goes through the doors. Eh, they're still hard to see. Okay, anyway. That's why I okay. put the lines there. Yeah, all good. Um, And you're hearing sound coming from here. What kind of sound? Uh, sound of movement. Of metal being assembled. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go over here. I need to change. There we go. 
Typhane. Um, is it possible to see inside of the room that Garrett went in into? You can, yeah, move in okay. or around. Um, Make a perception. As you move in, god damn. Roll 20 dice gods do not like you right now. So it's time to signal the attack. Um, okay. You put yourself where you want to be. Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. Door, what are you doing? I'm going to start channeling again. Okay, make a channel. It's possible Direct. for you to cast a second light spell. Yeah, you definitely cast a spell. Durak, you're definitely hearing sounds coming from this door. Oh yeah, door. no, I go to the door and I open it. Okay. Um, there you go. Um, and... Huh. Uh... I need to add a whole slew. That's closed. I got my dwarf up. I need to add a few goblins into the mix. Initiative. That was a free action. You can charge. Um, I think I would frenzy. Or you can try to go into frenzy, yeah. which takes an action. Willpower. You have to make a willpower roll. And uh, then you get one free attack out of the frenzy. I got a lesser. So you can go willpower. into frenzy and still get a free attack. Yeah, but I got less willpower. Is the problem? So it's not guaranteed. Okay. Nope. So let's do descending. Oops. Sorry. I um, need to uh, adjust that. Let's move on. So we are at door. We are at Evo's waiting. Durak, you're up. What do you do? Well, I just did it. Never. My whole turn was just now. Okay. Um. Oh, you missed it. Okay. Uh. So yeah, there's nothing you can do. Do you want to move to the doorway to defend? Well, I you moved. Stopped. I moved to the doorway. I opened it as a free action. I failed a willpower test, which is an action. I'm done. That's all I can do. There you go. There you go. So this is what you see right there. All right. Um. Garrett. Make a perception. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> I just can't hear anything. But my question is... What do you want to do? Can I see, like, a candle or a torch on the wall that I can take? Um... Yeah, there's torch. All right, I'll go ahead and take that and try lighting that. Instead. Let me... I'm going to get you the torch figure right here. Where did I put that map? I did. Okay. So I'm going. Instead of my shield. Okay. Um, let's do this. And let me adjust this. There is a torch. It emanates 40, 20. All players see sight. And you can control it. Hey, excellent. So you should be able to drag that. Yep, it is now yep. underneath me. That's fine. Okay. So um, anything else? You still have some movement left. That's a free interaction for the torch. Uh, well, we. everyone else seems to be saying they're hearing stuff over here. So I could go ahead and advance up the hallway then. This Move room, yourself. I can investigate later, I think. There you go. Um, uh, he draws a bow and he fires at you, Durak, point blank. And misses. Oh my god. This guy draws a blow, a bow at plus 40 and misses. Let's see what he does. That's a hit for nine. Yeah, point blank, you get a chance to dodge. All right, that's an 11. Bless your armor, toughness. It's a nice four. Seven. 
Well, this was a great time to come back, guys. Do you want to scream? Yeah, I'll scream. They're up it's here! Our... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which puts him at the top of the stairs. So that'll take him to the top of the stairs. He's listening to you screaming. He charges in. That's his action. Um, dwarves hate goblins. Um, this goblin. Hmm. Dice gods. He fires at the um, plus 20. He's not engaged. No one's engaged yet. And hits the dwarf for 12 of Kazid Slumble, um, who has actually pretty freaking decent armor. And the dwarf takes a bolt to the arm. Okay. This guy pulls out his sword and attacks. And the dwarf opposes and does oppose and gains an advantage. All right. Um, this goblin attacks at plus 20. For the two on one and hits, and the dwarf goes to put up his shield as a defense, and that's terrible. 16 less to the body. Um, the dwarf takes that many more, and you see they have chainmail, I believe. Let me look. Yeah, they have totally chain coat. Um, all the way down to the bottom. And how many wounds do they have? Wow. Seriously? Wow. Okay. Uh, he's still up. Gertrude, what do you do? Okay. Which way did um, the... Dwarven human go. That right, way. they ran up the stairs this way. All right. I am the world's tallest dwarf. All right, and then uh, she's got another six movement to go up the stairs. One, two, three, running. four, five, six. I'm going to just pull you down. You're going to see a couple things. I don't give a crap. You're up here. All right. Where you go. That's it. Now, your next action is a dash, which means you can engage or get next to him, but you can attack. I'd rather say the distance and be able to use my sling. Okay. So, you can't uh, see anything yet. I don't believe. Can you see the bad guy? I can no, see through that's the 12. door. That yeah, is. you're done there. Can you see through the dwarf from yes. there? Okay, go ahead and fire. Minus uh, 20. That, I can do that if I'm running? Yeah. Minus 30, actually. Uh, uh, but your short range, what's the range of your sling? Range on a lead bullet is 50. One, two, three, four, five. You're just out of point blank. So you're plus 20, minus 20 for engage, minus 10 for moving. So minus 10. Nice hit. Where are you attacking? This guy or yes. this guy? This guy. Okay. So that's a 10. Um, and he's got a shield up. So... Um, he does that, and now roll your crit. No modifier, right arm. I forgot I had this in here. Go ahead. 
I just press. Oh, I'm gonna press a button. Critical. Right arm, no modifier. Two bleeding. Okay, so he gets two bleeding. Um. Okay, and three more wounds. All right, nice shot. All right, Gertrude, you gain an advantage for that. This dwarf goes running and screaming up the stairs. <coughs> Bumps by you. <coughs> goes by you, Durak, and engages right there. Lady, oops. Let's go back. Lady oh. Tefane, you are... Uh, oh, no. Sorry. I've got more to add. Can make another perception check in that room? Um, hold on. Um, one. Two. Uh, keeps cutting in and out. What does? What keeps cutting in and out? Uh, sorry, you, you keep cutting in and out. Um, is it possible to see in that room that I was just in? Yeah, it's bedroom. Okay, I want to make a perception check. Uh, okay. Wow. I can't see shit. Um, I guess I'll go up the stairs then and follow, see what's going on. Everyone else has gone down upstairs. We should stay down here and uh, pursue this next room here. Uh, oh, come on. I can't move my token up. Why not? And I can't uh, move refresh, it. Refresh your, your internet, which is why I'm cutting out. Refresh your browser. Just go for it. Okay. Okay, you back? Iron? Iron, are you there? Uh, not hearing anything. Uh, no. Can you hear me? Oh, there there we go. go. Yeah, you're you're having some can internet. You hear me? Yeah, definitely internet issues. What are you gonna do? Um. Uh, yeah. I. Can you get me to the top of the stairs? Up to here, and you move faster than everybody else. Um, you're up to here with your movement. Oh, I can see through the door. The, <laughs> the door of the you want a fire? goblins. You want a fire? We'll shoot w one in the back. No, there's no back front. They're all facing the dwarves, charging them. Okay. Okay, which guy? The guy in the back? He's got a bow nice. out. Yeah, fire. I'll shoot him. Uh, you're minus 10. What's the range? You're minus 10. That's it. Fire. Okay. Oh, uh, you're plus 20. Actually, you're plus 10. Plus 20 for short. Minus 10 for moving. Fire away. That's a miss. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That was perception. Uh, you hit with a critical. My left hand. <coughs> um, okay. So that's that many wounds to that guy. And roll the crit to the head. <coughs> oh. Gain three stuns. Let's put this out Shoot there. his mouth off. Oh, God. Three stuns. Um, he has an, a challenging endurance test, or he falls unconscious. And 14 damage already. If that doesn't just murder him anyway. So he is unconscious. And... How many more wounds did that sucker do? 
four. Four. Wow. Nice hit. You hit him right across the head, and he falls unconscious. All right. Um, nice shot. Uh, we have door. What are you going to do? You channeled a spell, I think. Are you still channeling? Yeah. Uh, well, there's nothing really happening that I can tell. Do you want to wait? I could open up the door yeah. next to you and see what you see. I'd like to. You want to wait? Yeah. Okay. Durak, what do you do? I'm trying frenzy again. What do you do? Uh, you want to try to frenzy? Go for it. Every time you repeat what you just said a second ago, I always think, "Oh, maybe he didn't hear me." But then you say what I said. It's all very confusing. Um. Ay ay ay. Hold on. There we go. All right. There we go. Um, okay, so you rolled, and you made it. You frenzy. So you can charge and get one attack, your frenzy attack. Well, with dual wield, which is two attacks. Uh-huh. Fire away. No, actually, your main action, you can only use dual wield on a main action, which was frenzy. No, before I was so doing get... the same exact thing. No, a frenzy attack is a single attack. You don't. I this got clarified on rack catchers. But dual wield do, itself is a bonus attack on the. No, no, attack. but it's based on your main action. So you only get one dual wield, even if you have a frenzy, and then you have furious assault. You only get one dual wield, and that's your main attack, your main action. So I cook. I confirm that on rack catchers. Don't go to rack catchers like, to make me weaker. Yeah. It, it, you can't. You can't actually do a rack catchers to make me attack. awesome, not weaker. That sucks. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, go for it. You get a normal attack roll. Now I'm also wondering why you did that after Direct died. Go for it. I am. Give it a minute. It's a very slow okay. roll twenty today. That is a fifteen. Oh my God! Now you guys are suddenly criticaling. He had a bow out, so uh, 15, 12, roll your the crit. <clears throat> 12 to right arm? <clears throat> no modifier, just straight crit. My god. Make a hard endurance or gain the stunned and proned condition. Okay, hard endurance minus 20. Uh, he gains the stunned and prone. Drop whatever is held in the hand, which was his sword. Gain one stun condition. So he gains a stunned, a prone, and a. Two stunned and a prone. Okay. Um, and a prone. Okay, there we go. All right. So, nice shot. You get an advantage. Um, that was the free one. Now I still have an action. Uh, no, your action was uh, going into Frenzy. Your that free was, uh, was the Frenzy itself. I thought that was a half action. No, Frenzy gives you a free attack. So you went into Frenzy with your action, and then the Frenzy itself gives you a extra attack. No, I, so, I took the charge action, which was my attack action. No, no, no. Frenzy is your action. You have to use your action for that. Your movement was just to move up to him. So, trust me on this. You're, you're done. You did the one attack with a Frenzy because you went into Frenzy this turn. And then you got your attack in because of the Frenzy. 
and you're done. Next round, you get two attacks. My problem One is that you've two. changed some rules now, and this is my first time coming yeah. back to it. I, I know, I know, I know. But uh, I've got clarification, because I was like, you know, can dwarves attack, um, dual wield every single extra attack? And they said no. Uh, dual wield is your action. All the others are just extra attacks. So your action was to frenzy. You used a skill, frenzy. So you go into frenzy this turn. You get a free attack because of the frenzy. That's your extra attack. And that's it. All right, Evo uh, is going to hold. Garrett, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and advance up to the store and open it. Oh, you are. Okay. There you go. Hey, friends. What do you do? That was your free action. Now you can do something. Yep. Uh, what does it look like they're holding? Swords? Swords, bows, shields. Uh, okay. So now it's time to lure them back. I'm going to go ahead and run back. Run back. There you go. Yeah, here. Smart. Okay. That is now. Neat. Um, you see this guy come out of this door bursting open. Um, and he goes running around here. So you see a guy run around here towards either door or you. Uh, I'll do dice gods, dice rollers. One, two, three, four. And he's going to dash in and just stop. He cannot attack. He doesn't. He's got to do his action as a dash. Um, actually, he'll sit next to both of you right now, but you are not engaged. Oh, did those two come around uh, past Ivo? Or yeah. from a different angle? Uh, they're behind Ango. Yeah, came from this way. Okay. Uh, this guy comes around also. This guy comes around over here. Um, this guy is out of it. He is prone, so he can get, he is stunned. So he's got to make an endurance to pass the stuns. He does not. He's done. He's on the prone, just stunned. This dwarf, uh, attacks. And fumbles. Uh, the goblin next to him opposes and does so and gains an advantage. And that's that. Uh, goblin with bow. He is unconscious. He's done. Uh, this guy runs into here. Uh, and he can actually attack Evo. And he will. He attacks with short sword. Evo can defend with his shield. And he does so, and Evo gets an advantage for that. All right. This goblin comes up here with a bow and fires at Evo at plus 20. Evo has a chance to dodge. And he doesn't. That's a 13 point hit to the head, less Evo's toughness. Uh, 13, 8. So Evo takes a big shot to the head. I'll let him use Resilience Resolve next session. All right. Uh, this goblin has a bow. Dice gods. Um, uh, let's see. Dice roller. Uh, 1, 2 will be, yeah, that goes against you. 
Um, um, Durak. Then the goblin is plus 20 with the bow. You can dodge that. Go ahead. That's dodgeable. Durak? Got to give me more than three seconds, man. Yeah, no worries. I'm in the flow, but we're going to have to stop after this round of combat. Okay, so that is a seven, ten point hit to your left arm, less armor and toughness. Noted. And remember, you have a potion. So, or you have a. Uh, I was not drive. with them when they got potions and distributed them. Okay. Also, that removes yeah. all you my were advantage, part right? Of the number. We would give you one eventually. That was the whole point of this. Yeah. Well, I'm also frenzied, so. Yeah, yeah that's you can't the big do it. Issue. He can't do it. Okay, so that guy hits. This guy comes running out. Um, and he closes in over here and strikes with a sword. And he fumbles terribly. And Evo, who lost his advantage because he got hit, will go to oppose with the shield. And he does. And he gains that advantage back. And this guy comes out um, with a bow. And we'll go ahead and fire at plus 20. And, ooh, yikes. Evo will... Roll, dodge. He does not. He's going to spend a resilience and make an automatic success. He gains another advantage. All right. Um, this goblin attacks the dwarf. Misses terribly. And the dwarf... Uh, opposes with plus 10 advantage. And that is an oppose. So this guy loses his advantage and he gains two. All right. Um, one last goblin comes out from over here. Runs over here, and he is done. Um, this goblin can't fire. There's too many others in front of him. This guy is um, bleeding. He takes two more damage, and he does an attack on the dwarf at minus 20. And he swings, and <laughs> ah, the other dwarf sort of scoffs and blocks. Okay, and this dwarf gains a advantage. Gertrude, you're up. All right, <clears throat> let's fire at that same goblin again. Go for it. Another He's little bleeding. Little. Minus uh, plus. Uh, you want to one, two, three, four, five. You want to close like two, and then All you right. get plus forty for point blank. Minus twenty for uh, so plus twenty total. Minus twenty for engaged. Almost made that oh. two hundred there. All right, that's a hit. He does have a chance at minus 20 to dodge. Doubtful. He tries to dodge. That's a 19-point hit. And you kill this guy. You gain an advantage for that. And advantage is limited by initiative bonus? Yeah. I only get yeah. two on this character. Okay, so that's the max you can have. Plus 12. The, the gob... Oh, he moves in. 
Oh, actually, he's just going to coup de gras this guy with a scream. He's going to bring his sword down, kill him. That's it. Okay. And that's the end of the round. It's 8 p.m. Do we want to continue on or stop? Uh, now <laughs> Shouldn't I go? I What's that? Shouldn't I go still? Oh, did I miss you somehow? I probably did. Uh, go for it. You get an action. My bad. Well, first off, I'm going to back up a little bit. Yeah, you waited. That's right. And so I'll did... Stay up with them because then I get a bonus to smack them. So did Evo. <laughs> Evo's going to go into it. <laughs> Excuse me, a defensive stance. And um, he's going to defend from there. So, uh, Dor, what are you going to do? I'm going to cast Mystifying Miasma. Like right in the middle of all those goblins on my fire. It. What is uh, cast that spell so I know what it does? Be careful with that spell. The dwarves might throw a tantrum. They would. I get you, by the way. <laughs> now, this fact that gaining plus one blind. Really? Wow. Plus one blinded, deafened, and fatigued. So that's minus 20 off of everything. Uh, <laughs> where are you casting it? What's the range of that? Uh, I feel like that should show up in there, but it doesn't. No, you it does. You have to put it actually in the spell. It's a willpower bonus yards. yards. Okay, so and then the you don't want to willpower bonus. You yards. don't want and um. So willpower bonus yards. Uh, and where do you want to cast it? I basically want to make it so it ends on that guy. Willpower bonus yards. Okay. Um, and it does... What's your willpower bonus? Five. Okay. Uh, so I don't even know if you can cast that without catching other people. Five yards. Yeah, you can. Bear, can you see this spot? Yeah, you can. Okay. So I'm going to give that to you. Nice use of spell. One. Is there a roll on that or no roll? Uh, I rolled to cast it, and I got plus seven, so that makes it like plus 14. No, there's no roll on that from what I'm seeing, right? Correct? Oh, you do you mean agree? like resist or anything? It doesn't mention anything. Yeah, there's no roll. It's automatic. It's in the cloud and it's bad. Yeah. Uh, they do have to roll an initiative test, otherwise they get stunned. Okay, so first, wow. Oh, Jeez. that's if it's dispelled. Okay, so blinded. Um, deafened. Jesus, nice spell. Now you know why you have a wizard. And what's the last one? Fatigue. Fatigue. So they're minus 20 off of everything. And they have to make initiatives or gain a stun as well. And uh, that's if it's dispelled. Oh, if it's just... Okay, good enough. If they're attempting to move, they have to roll a challenging perception or become prone. Okay. And Evo is in a defensive stance. All right, guys, end of round. Do we wait until next week? I think this is a good time to end it. Let Evo uh, destroy things when he gets back. Mm -hmm. All right. Or turn around and see a horrifying boy. Well, I already had to spend the resilience. This is why I don't like playing other characters. I try not to spend their fate fortune. Fortune I'm fine with. Resolve I'm fine with. Yeah. But, um, but uh, resilience and fate, eh. Right He's now, here, I think the tactical nightmare is literally everybody ran up the stairs. Yeah, no you're split. To clear. They just wanted to rush. You're split. Oh, and I have another character to add. And I might as well do this right now and leave it with this because it's pretty funny. Um, you see this character burst out over here, Gertrude and Tefane. And what you see 
is a goblin wearing female clothes wearing a tiara <laughs> <laughs> a cross-dressing uh, goblin <laughs> i feel pretty i'm so pretty and where's my turn order here where'd that go there we go let's go ahead and sort Okay, and we start with Tefane next round. And uh, he comes running out. Uh, and he's got, he's got her clothes on, the lady's clothes on, that are kind of dragging behind him, and a diamond tiara. All right, guys. Uh, no XP yet, because we're in the middle of combat. Of so next turn don't refresh your fate fortune anything like that or resolve and we pick this up next week and good luck <laughs> all right good Catch night you guys next time take care everybody all right guys talk to you bye-bye peace